This is the inverse speed shot. This shot I invented about seven or eight years ago that flips the typical concept of a speed shot on its head. Whereas you would usually shoot one ball, or lag it towards the side pocket and shoot these three balls in before the one ball gets there. Here I'm going to lag these three balls towards the side pocket and then shoot the one ball last, but it will go in first. So I'm going to shoot from my left to right, two, three, four, and then the one ball. But they're going to go in the side pocket in numerical order. So let me show you what it's supposed to look like. So that's the inverse speed shot. It's not a really hard shot, but it still encompasses a lot of the same principles as a regular speed shot, your speed control and quickness going in between the balls. So let's start with how I set this shot up. And I'm going to use the 9, 10, 11, and 12 balls, same colors as the 1 through 4, um, but for my second attempt I'm just going to use the striped balls. I'm going to set the 11 and 12, one ball width apart. This is going to be one diamond from the rail that I'm standing behind. And then, I'm going to put the 9 ball and 10 balls just outside of the 11 and 12, another, another ball width outside the 11 and 12 balls. The three big keys for this shot are going to be transitioning quickly between all the balls, getting your speed control down and consistent, and aiming as well. Um, as far as transitioning between the balls, a lot of this is going to come with your stance and how you are going to uh, be standing when you shoot these. For me, I just take a regular stance and on the 10 ball. I take one step over with my right leg, and I'm right handed, I'm going left to right, to shoot the 11, and then I kind of lean in for the 12 and the 9. I might drag my left foot a little bit, but really I'm just leaning over uh, to get these last two balls. I'm not setting up properly, and that's a common theme with a lot of different speed shots. Uh, you might not have the time to set up um, in your typical stance, so you're going to have to figure out what works best for you. Uh, if you're left-handed, you're going to want to flip the shot around, so you can go this way, obviously. Um, but I wouldn't really recommend trying it backwards. You can, but you might stumble over your feet a little bit. Uh, the second big key is going to be your speed control. On a new table with new cloth and freshly polished balls, this shot's going to be really easy because you can just tap these balls and they'll skate all the way to the side pocket. Here on my table it's a little bit worn and uh, I do have to put a little bit of stroke into it but getting a consistent stroke to get that speed to the side pocket is a really key part to this shot. Finally the last key is aiming and it might not seem that big of a deal because you're aiming into the side pocket and it's a big space. Uh, this table actually has pretty tight pockets but still you can fit two balls within the jaws of the side pocket. And for this shot, what that means is you're going to want to aim the 10 ball as close as you can to the left point of the side pocket. And that's going to give you the biggest opening for the 9 ball, when you fire that in last, into the right side of this side pocket. Um, because you're going to fire the 9 ball in really hard, your aiming might not be quite as accurate on it, and you can easily clip the 10 ball going in or clip the point of the side pocket and miss the shot completely. Uh, the 11 and the 12 balls don't really get in the way as far as the angle goes, but uh, obviously you have to have the speed on those to get to the side pocket. So let me try it one more time. And so that's the inverse speed shot. Again, not a terribly hard shot. You can change the variations up if you want to use fewer balls to start with and work your way up. You can move the balls closer to the side pocket or farther away to change the difficulty as well. Uh, it's a really fun shot. It encompasses a lot of the principles you're going to encounter in other speed shots, especially, uh, like I said, the big keys. Transitioning quickly between the balls, getting your speed control down, and aiming to a certain degree as well. So I hope you have some fun with this.